Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information if you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. The question is, cast iron cookware, what is the big deal? We're going to explore that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. Now, let's get on into our video. In the recent years, cast iron cookware has gotten very, very popular. It's been popular for quite a while among collectors and some of the old school cooks. But we have a resurgence of cast iron cookware popularity that has really increased. I want to say because of COVID-19 and everyone being kind of trapped in their homes for quite a while, they started going through their cabinets and cleaning things out and finding things that they didn't know they had. Uh, namely cast iron cookware and then you start seeing people searching online how to clean it and how to get it back in use and we just have seen a resurgence of cast iron cookware among collectors and users that have really grown in the last few years and I don't see any stopping. There are four reasons why I believe that cast iron cookware has become such a big deal as of late not counting the fact that people rediscovered it during being locked in during the pandemics. So I'm going to go ahead and list these four and talk about each one just a little bit. Number one, cast iron cookware is so versatile. Well, cast iron cookware doesn't have plastic handles. Now you will find a few pieces with wooden handles and those you can't really put them in the oven, but generally most pieces of cast iron are all cast iron and you can put them in the oven over an open flame on the cooktop it doesn't really matter. You can use it anywhere, anytime. It's not going to affect it. Cast iron cookware can be used virtually anywhere. Number two is longevity. Cast iron cookware has been around for a long, long time. If you want to check out my video on the history of cast iron cookware, I will try to leave a link to that here in the video description up here at the top. So check that video out. With the fact that cast iron cookware has been around a long time, you know that your parents may have used it, your grandparents may have used it, and your great grandparents may have used cast iron cookware. A lot of those same pieces are still around and still in use, which is amazing. So the longevity of cast iron is something and it's very, very forgiving. Now, if you crud a piece up and get it all caked over, you can just reclean it and start all over again. You can't do that with a Teflon coated piece. Once the Teflon is gone or starting to come loose, you don't want to use it. Now, cast iron cookware can be broken and it can be damaged if you use the wrong means to clean them. I am a staunch advocate of proper cleaning techniques on cast iron cookware. Number three, cooking properties. I've heard it said many, many times, it ain't cornbread if it ain't cooked in cast iron. And I do believe that's true. Now, cast iron cookware does heat up a little bit unevenly, but once it gets hot, it stays hot. Great for searing steaks, great for casseroles, great for many different kinds of bread, including cornbread. And to slow simmer something, uh, the cooking flexibility is just amazing. You can cook on the open fire, you can cook in the oven, just like I mentioned before, on its versatility. I've heard so many people say food just tastes better in cast iron cookware, and I do believe it. Now there is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you figure out the basics, it's really simple. You will fall in love with cast iron cookware, just like I have. And number four, collectability. This is probably one of my favorites. Some things take up a lot of room and some things just cost a lot of money. Now, granted cast iron cookware is getting kind of expensive now that there are a lot more collectors involved. Now, me personally, I love collecting cast iron cookware, as you can see on my back wall. But I had somebody tell me a long time ago, choose quality over quantity. There are many people who, when they collect, they find a specific brand and they stick to it. There's some people that only collect Griswold. Griswold is probably the most famous, but you have other companies like Chicago Hardware Foundry. You have Lodge. You have Martin Stove and Range. You got Birmingham Stove and Range, which happens to be my favorite. You have other people who only collect advertiser pieces. You can trade. There is a huge group of collectors out there. Friendships that I've made while collecting cast iron cookware has been amazing. I've got some of the best friends you could ever meet in the groups and online and just meeting them out when we go places. So 
Collectability is probably the number one thing nowadays that causes people to be interested in it. And the greatest thing about it, you can collect it and use it. That's one thing to have something to collect and hang on the wall. But cast iron cookware, you can cook food in it and just enjoy it and uh, trade around talk about it the unique history of cast iron cookware and especially the individual foundries learning about the individual foundries the owners the people who worked in those places it's just an amazing collectability uh, item and once you start collecting you're going to be hooked there's just no way around it so i hope that you've enjoyed this video and you got something out of it i've enjoyed my journey using and collecting cast iron cookware it has been wonderful and I hope that your experience has been the same, and I'm sure it has. So if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 2, it says, The Lord is my strength and my song, and He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare Him a habitation my father's god and i will exalt him i just want to say share the word and be a blessing mm -hmm.